This is a video that looks at how to make learning tasks and set them up, put in the assessment elements and make them available to students. So the best place to build your learning task is in the school resources section. The advantage of putting your learning tasks in here is that that task can be reused in other semesters or other years, whereas if you build it in an individual subject or class, it only exists while that class runs and next semester it's really hard to find. So we're going to go to the curriculum area. This task I'm going to build will be for mathematics. So I'll go into year nine mathematics, first semester, and in the assessment task folder, I'm going to come up to the top here, click add content, and I want to build a learning task. So the learning task window will pop up and there, as you can see, there are three tabs across the top. We'll start with the basic one. So I'm going to give it a name. This is the 36 centimetre squared shapes task. And I could write in all of my details. What is probably easier for me is to go and find a task that I've already prepared in Word and paste that in. So I've now got all of the details in here. And if I want to, I can do some editing to make it look pretty, make it more presentable for the students. I can correct any errors in there. And that goes into the basic thing. So I've given it a name up the top. And then in the editing, editing section, I've put in the bulk section of my task. Under attachments, you might want to add in some additional files. So for instance, I might want to add in the assessment criteria. So here is my rubric for that assessment criteria. So I'm going to add that in. You might choose to add in the original task that I typed up in Word as well so that students can download that and print that if they prefer. So all of that information goes in here. Over on the right hand side in this section here, we've got some security elements. At the moment, no one can see the task and you might prefer that because you might not want your task to be visible until such time as you're ready to assign it to your students. You can also choose to make it available for parents. All of these settings here, we'll look at again when we publish the task available to students. So now that I've got the essence of my task in here, I need to put in the components that I'm going to assess it on. So I go to my components and go add a component. Now the first one up the top here is, if this is a task that's going to be done digitally, you might want to allow students to upload the task. So if this was a video or an essay being typed up in Word or something, I would choose to add that task so that students can uh, submit the task to me online. In this case, the task being done offline, so I won't have that task submitted online. But I do want to be able to put in the some grades in the for each of the areas in my assessment rubric. So in my case, my rubric allows for a score of a 0, 1, 2 or 3 in four areas. So I'm just going to click number four times and then I'm going to go in and edit it. And my first one is on diagrams and sketches. Tell the, board, tell the, board, you now. the lowest score I can get for that is a 0 and the highest score available is a 3. So I put that in. And I'm going to go and do that for each of my assessment criteria. The next one's on calculations. A score of zero up to three. You can type them in or use the arrows on the side. The next one is on how on uh, mathematical logic. And a zero to three, as matches up with my assessment rubric. And the last one is on the presentation of the task. I would also like to get a total score. So if I hit the addition button and I can say, right, I want to include the diagrams and sketches, I want to include the calculations, I want to include the mathematical logic and the presentation, 
all of which are in that task. So I choose those ones and I can say, look, just give me my total to zero decimal places. It's just going to add them all up. I hit accept and the weighting I need to set in, they're all worth the same. So they're worth 25% for each one because I've got four of them and they're not worth, no one element is worth more than another. You might have that in some of your tasks and this one it's nice and simple. So I've chosen to do that. I accept that and now it will automatically add up the total grades for all of that. The last thing of course that we need to do is to type in a comment where we're going to provide some feedback. So I'm going to type in an open comment that would allow for me to use something in my comment bank or to customise something because each learning task should provide some feedback on how the student can improve. So now I've got all of my comments, all of my sections of my components in, I can choose OK. You might choose some other ones, you might, there's a huge big list of different components that you can choose including Victorian curriculum grades right down the bottom here. Um, in yellow, so you can choose the appropriate Victorian curriculum grade if you so desire. I don't need that for any of my tasks, so I've put in the ones I want, given them an appropriate name, I hit save, uh, OK, and it tells me that who would be able to see it, if it's just students or students and parents, I can choose that. I'm happy for both students and parents, in fact I want parents to be looking at it, so it's all going to be there. We can look at these other things at another time. So I save that. And here is my uh, task all ready to go. It's got my um, assessment criteria embedded in it. The task is here, but at the moment it's in the curriculum section. So what I need to do is over on the left hand side here, I go over to the task that I've just created and I right click on it and I push that out to my class. So I scroll down until I can find my year nine maths class. and I've got class 1A. If I also wanted to share it with the other teacher of that class, I would tick that box as well and say push the content. And this task now will appear in my Year 9 Maths class. So if I go and have a look at my Year 9 Maths class, under Learning Tasks, here is my tasks. Now, as you can see, I've already done one before. This is one that I, the one that I just set up here. I click on the actions because I want to go in and edit it because as we can see, there's no students attached to this class. It was built not attached to any class. So I go into my students and look, at the moment they're all excluded and I want them all to be included. So I've saved those in here and this is ready to go. We talked about submissions before. So I probably should have while I was still in there. Gone in and made the task visible to my students. I might choose to have conversations. I might choose to allow a submission, but this it doesn't have an online submission, so that's not available. And at the moment, I don't want the students to see my grades until I'm ready to publish them. But when I am, I'll come back in and change that. And that's how we create our tasks and make them available to our students.